everyone, it's Celine here, and today I am here with a very, very special guest. This is my best friend, Melise. If you guys have ever watched my other videos, I have mentioned her name many times, and so, so she's actually so famous. So now you can actually put a name to her face. So, um, we're just gonna be talking about my childhood, her childhood, embarrassing stories, even from pretty recently, even up to like a week or two ago, <laughs> involving the cop showing up to my house. So, if you want to learn exactly what happened, stay tuned for the entire video and let's get started. Basically, a little backstory on our friendship. Uh, she's known me since birth. I mean, <laughs> since the womb, she's known me. So, um, <laughs> through thick and thin, she's been there. And so, I want to talk. What? So this one time, I was sleeping over Celine's house. Oh, and by the way, I have like a really bad habit of <laughs> sleep She's a talking. very avid sleep talker. But like, I don't know if it's on an everyday basis, but every single time I'm with her at least, Every I time I have a sleep, I, I'm a really light sleeper, so every time she starts speaking, I start waking up. So, it was pretty recent, probably like a six months ago, I was sleeping over. And I woke up, and I see her like, she's like mumbling, and then just like, randomly she's in Turkish may I add she says which color grandma <laughs> and I just start like dot like hysterically laughing I'm like what could she possibly be dreaming about that she's asking her grandma what color what color <laughs> there's another time I remember I was at her house and she was like saying sleep do you remember anything about keys in your dream and I'm like no, and she's like, you were talking about like keys and your grandma. It's always about my grandma. I'm always like, grandma, the keys. The keys, grandma, which keys? And so, I do that a lot. And there was this one time, I remember, I like, we like, I, I had this phase where whenever I was at a sleepover with her, like at my house, I would not be able to sleep like in the same bed as her. It was like really weird. <laughs> she would make me so, sleep on the floor. But like, my floors are like heated, so it's not like animal <laughs> So I put like pillows and like, okay, it would be really soft as, so I've heard. Um, so this one time I remember you were saying how like in, in the middle of the night I was like talking and I was like, like really loud and she wasn't able to sleep. So I'm like kicking the bottom of my bed because like my, my um, bed is like attached to the ground basically. Not attached, but like it's like really close. So she's like pounding with her feet like on the bed. <laughs> but I wouldn't shut me. up. I have a really bad memory. Oh, oh my god. She has like the memory of a goldfish. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like I sent her a text today about this video. I'm like, oh, let's do the video. And I was like, okay, so I'll talk about this, this, this and story. And she's like, I don't remember that story. And I'm like, I just explained it to you over text about three hours ago. So, um, okay. Well, another example of that. Um, I guess this could be an embarrassing story about you and your locker. Four years of your combination. Oh, yeah. So, I recently just graduated high school, <laughs> and it was literally like the last week of school, and in my school we have the same locker for all four years, and I just walk up to my locker, the bell's about to ring, I'm about to be late for my class, and I just freeze, like I have no idea what my locker combination is whatsoever. Mind you, I've been putting in the same combination for four years straight, <laughs> and I had to like call my friends and ask what <laughs> Just, so, if that doesn't tell you anything about her, like, memory span, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> okay, another one, um, another story, it's kind of short, a lot shorter than the last one. When I was in, like, sixth grade, when I was, like, first meeting boys and all that fun stuff, not necessarily, like, dating, but, like, having, like, friends as boys, I was really awkward. I mean, I was still awkward to this day, but not as awkward, <laughs> thankfully. And so, whenever I would talk to me, I just go, they go, hey, what's up? And I'd be like, nothing. <laughs> and I would do that face. And this one time, this boy called me out. And he's like, "Why do you always do that face?" And I'm like, "What face?" He goes, "You always go like," and he did that like he did that face. And I'm like, I was mortified because like there's a whole group of people behind him also, and I was just laughing. And I, I realized like to this day, um, like I kind of do that face like involuntarily now, which is like really bad. And there's an emoji if you guys know the emoji where it's like. <laughs> I'm like, that's my sixth grade talking to boys face. That's that's the jerk face I made. So, about a couple weeks ago, our parents left um, <clears throat> while we were going to be home alone for Sounds a Sounds really bad. <clears throat> our parents left. Our parents left. We dro <laughs> drove four hours away and they weren't coming back until the next day. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. So, what happened was, one night, well, one day, um, Melissa and I were home alone because our parents were driving away for like a very long car drive and normally we're not ever home alone but I mean it just happened to be that one time we were 
And so for the entire day, <clears throat> our parents told us that like, okay, we're gonna be reaching one area where there's not gonna be any phone reception. So if you can't call us, just know that we can't answer the phone because we won't be getting any calls because there's like a certain area where it's like, there's no reception at all. So like, okay, okay. And so we go outside to film a video and then we come back inside. And then later, while we're upstairs, I just hear my dog go crazy. Whenever someone's at the door, my dog barks like insanely because like he's a guard dog also. So like he um, warns us. And so I see this man standing in front of the door and like looking inside the house, like going like this. And I'm like, and I'm like walking down the stairs and like I go all the way up to the door until I see him. Like he's really close, but he doesn't see me. So I'm like, and I, I like went into full on like home alone mode, like the <laughs> kid there. So I'm like going up the stairs, like holding onto the wall. I'm like, you Please. should know that Celine's a very like paranoid person. <laughs> she gets a little scared easily. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not like paranoid, but I'm like, who's that? Who's that? But I mean like, in situations like this, she like I like overthink it's it. Escalated more than ever. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like holding onto the wall, and I'm like, please, she's at full on like, like, and I'm like close to tears, <laughs> and my, my my knees are shaking, like I'm she's fully like, scared. And so I'm like, what? Like, I'm, I'm like, upstairs. I'm like, like, what is going on? All I heard was like a knock at the door, and then I see Celine like up against the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fly. wish that you could be a fly on the wall? <laughs> Comment down below if you guys know where that's from. Hopefully you guys know where that's from. <laughs> anyway, so I'm like, Melissa, there's a man at the door. And so she's like, she's like, probably, like she's just so answer it. And I'm like, <laughs> like, you're never supposed to answer the door when you're home alone. That's like, don't talk to strangers. Don't, open, don't answer you the door. alone. When I was home. No. What if he had a gun? What were you going to do? Punch. Okay. Okay. You can come in. It's fine. Come for tea. You we got tea. Gun. You don't just don't knock know. up your I don't know. I used to see if like, anyone was home and I don't know. I had this, okay. So then I'm upstairs, I'm like, she's Melissa's like, oh, let's just get a bat. Like, jokingly, I'm like, great idea. And like, I find the bat. I'm like, where the hell is this bat? And I'm she, looking. Can I get it? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I have this bat from sixth grade. And it's not like an actual bat. It's like a collector's edition from like the Mets game I went to um, with my friend Lexi. So it sounds like David Wright on it. It's like literally like a tiny bat if you guys can see this. <laughs> so I'm like, do that I'm, much damage. But I mean, I had it anyway, because it's like, Pretty bad. So, <laughs> people are gonna think I'm insane after this video. I promise. Um. So then, I'm like, oh my god, and like I hold the bat, and I'm like against the wall, and I'm, like, I'm waiting for him to go away, and he's like looking through the window, and I'm like hyperventilating. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm like, I'm like on the floor, on like, freak out mode, hyperventilation, shaking. Like she has the bat. Like <laughs> I'm like crouching the wall. Like I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, and we're. I have like a little, not a bridge, but like I can kind of see the door from like an upper level in my house. So I was just like looking through like the obscure glass because like I know he can't see me so I'm like looking I'm like oh my god I'm like get the phone I'm calling the cops and she's like meanwhile this entire time I am rolling on the floor tears oh, yeah. in my she's eyes like, laughing crying like, of oh, laughter oh, like she's freaking out this all this guy did was knock on the door and look at like, looking at he's like tell me that's not sketchy you're home alone your parents are like four hours right I'm calling my parents I'm like mom and there's like they're not answering because yeah. they she reached both of her parents they didn't answer they, they I called both of my parents they, they didn't, didn't answer so you can understand now my like my level of paranoid is a whatever you call it yeah. so wait you missed a part so we run up to her parents room oh, where yeah. we could see the road and Celine's like we have to take a picture of his car. Like, we need a picture of his car. And meanwhile, he's driving away. So, so she grabs my phone on video mode and she records this one second video. And all you can see the car just like rolling, just like driving away. And then you hear me laughing hysterically. <laughs> like, and like, it's only here in the one second video. So it sounds like Melissa's is like crying, yeah, but she's like crying. crying of laughter. So then later I I'm like I gotta call the cops so I call the cops and I'm like uh hi 911 she's like 911 what is your emergency I'm talking so slow and I'm like hi I live on blah 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 I'm giving all the information and she's like what car does he have and I'm like uh, it's a navy blue car and Melissa's like Slim, what if it's like a pool guy or like a pizza delivery guy like what if it's like one of your dad's friends and I'm like I've never seen him before in my entire life he's like 30 years old definitely like creepy man that's definitely the answer. He's just coming to kill me. That's what it says. So I went around my entire house, like locking every Holy single door. Man. Oh yeah, and I, I closed all she the curtains. Closed all the windows, <laughs> locked every door. And so the cops come, and oh my god. So then, uh, like I'm like Melissa, they're coming, and I realize I have the bat like laying <laughs> wide open on the floor. So I'm like, I when I just like come out the door, I grab the bat, like, I throw it in another room, and I'm like, hi officers, and like I was like so scared. So I told them. And then I told my dad when they came home, he's like, I called my dad later that day and I told him the whole story. 
And he's just like, he's like, he's laughing. He's like, is this a prank? They're doing a prank. Yeah. They're trying to prank Our us. parents didn't believe us. Like, and at all. Like, they thought like, we were oh, pranking. give the phone to Molise. And then I'm like, hello? And they're like, oh, so what's going on? Like, this isn't funny, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I'm serious. She actually called the cops. <laughs> and they're like, you called the cops? Why you called the cops? And then they realized we were being serious. And then when they get home, they're laughing at my face. Like, I'm it sleeping. Really so they're like, funny. laughing at my face. And so then the next, like, a two, like a week later, this guy comes to the door, and my dad's like, it's like a, it's, it's like a guy, and um, so my dad's like, by any chance, do you have like a navy blue car? And were you here la sometime last week? He's like, yeah. And he's like, did you knock on the door? And no one was home. He's like, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. Comes up. He's like, later that day. My dad goes, you know that weird person that came up to the door? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, that was the pool guy. <laughs> How was I supposed to know what the pool guy looked like? How was I supposed to know that he was not a creepy old man just like looking through the door? Okay, so um, that's my bat cop story. So that's how the cops came to my house. And so, yeah. So when Celine was little, she had. This <laughs> I was like five. Okay, like four or five. So come on, let's pretend I was five. Okay. 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 What are you saying? <laughs> um. So when she was little, she had this habit. I don't know where it came from. Like. <laughs> it's a very strange thing, but every time she went to the bathroom, instead of just pulling her pants down, she had to take all of her clothes <laughs> off for some bizarre reason. And I happened to be walking by one time, and the door was cracked open, so I'm like, what is going on in here? And I just see her taking it all off. And I was a little scarred. <laughs> Hashtag stripper but, from. <laughs> but now it makes sense, you see? Because when Celine, she would be like very stubborn about going to the bathroom. She'd be like, ah, ah, like making noises and like shaking. Like you, she clearly really had to go to the bathroom. And I'd be like, Celine, do you have to go to the bathroom? Like I'll go with you. She's, no, no, I don't. No. And now I think it's just because you were too late to take your clothes off. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. <laughs> She's a very special child. I swear I'm normal. <laughs> so, um, that concludes today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, comment down below if you guys want more videos with Melise. Comment down below. Um, so... Yeah, it might not be a while until we have another video together because she's going off to college. <laughs> and I'm still in high school, so... We'll see. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Comment down any video suggestions or what part of this video made you LOL the most. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, everyone.